Please. Let's take more into this now. Michael Boss, Security Global Affairs Analyst, former spokesperson for the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, their special monitoring mission to Ukraine. And Michael, I know you've just recently got back from Ukraine. You know this region very well. I'm sure a lot of people gave up their Christmases to make this exchange happen. How significant would you say it is? Good to be with you, Mike. It's a very positive uh, development and otherwise a very bleak situation. Let's not forget that this is a conflict that has been going on for almost four years. It's one of the longest running conflicts in Europe since the Second World War. And even though the Christmas ceasefire, which your correspondent referred to, did not hold even a few hours, the exchange did at least show that the two sides can make their guns uh, sil fall silent for long enough for this swap to happen. Now, there are others remaining behind both lines that still need to be uh, traded. And also, this is a very important component of the Minsk agreements that prisoners are swapped. But so the most important thing, of course, at the end of the day, is that a permanent uh, ceasefire takes hold. Very significant, too, I guess, this decision by the Trump administration to provide lethal weapons to Ukraine clearly deepens Americans' involvement in this, contract, in this uh, uh, conflict. May strain relations with Russia. Is it a game changer? I don't think it's a game changer yet. Let's not forget that um, the amount of weapons are limited, that a lot of training will have to happen before these weapons are actually used especially the anti-tank weapons. But one can see from the Russian reaction that they're taking this very seriously. They've attacked both the Poroshenko administration and also the Trump administration for this. But at least I think it will give the Ukrainians enhanced capability to secure their positions, to not let the Russian-backed separatists take any more ground. And one more quick thing, of course, is that we have to remember that all of this, the swap, the, the rhetoric coming from Russia, it's happening in the context of upcoming presidential elections in, in Russia. And I think that President uh, Putin needs to show himself, because he doesn't have much to show, as a strong man to his own people, that he's willing to fight and uh, gain more territory for Russia. Michael, there has been a lot of bloodshed, of course, in Ukraine, in eastern Ukraine, certainly in recent days. I don't think that Christmas ceasefire lasted very long at all. Are we in a situation where almost any movement on anything is good news? Absolutely. Um, you know, the death toll is well over 10,000 now, several million displaced, including inside of Ukraine. And um, the civilian, uh, the toll on civilians has been very, very bad. You know, at a busy Christmas season right now, a lot of people do cross that long contact line to visit friends and relatives to collect pensions. So that movement is very, very important. But I should mention one more thing. All indications are is that the rebels are ratcheting up, are re-weaponizing re for more conflict. In fact, uh, aerial surveillance has detected, believe it or not, a military, aerial military school that the rebels can activate at any time. So that indicates, to me at least, that they are willing to use new ways to, um, to shell the Ukrainians, including from the air, possibly. Michael Bosikiv, very interesting to talk to you. Thank you very much.